Yo, what's up, Simon and Garfunkel and um, rhyming with fart uncles? I don't know, man. In front of us, we got a Star Saber wearing two of the Victory Leo boots, and he's also wearing two of the uh, grease pits, and I'm going to teach you how to make them today. I will give you a 3-6. I can't use the Lazy Susan right now just because um, yeah, he'd be popping out of the shot, but you can see all the party, all the action is happening pretty much up here using the <laughs> using the grease pit torso. Grease pit torsos. And on the bottom, we have these accompanying accoutrements using the rest of the bot. Um, I like how this shaped up. It's kind of like, I mean, it's very panelly, not kind of, it is totally panelly. But um, I like the look. And he kind of strikes me as some type of like a Gundam esque figure. But I think that's uh, yeah, pretty appropriate considering the person who worked on this, I'm told, also worked on Gundam. And so, yeah, it's kind of natural, right? All right, so let me see, let me see, let me see. What's the best way to break them down? Um, well, I'll just start with the Easy Bake Oven stuff. This back here is just one of the legs, right? And it has the panel removed, and it's just plugged into the backpack over here. And here is another um, just appendage, and this is the arm. And this is unique to a uh, grease pit, and this is kind of like his little car wash sign or gas or uh, gas station sign. And then we're just getting that, and then we're plugging them into the back of the leg like so. Um, I really do like the fact that there's so much like red and yellow and blue on Grease Pit. It is the the, the perfect pairing with um, Victory Saber in my opinion. And the rest of the stuff is not so layered on, but it's still pretty easy in my opinion. So, um, all right, you see how I just kind of uh, pulled, that, pulled that off, right? Okay. And so at its core, what this is, is so we got one um, of the grease pit legs and we got that little like pokey thing up at the top the yellow bit this is the grease pit arm the trapezoid you know what, let me just fix the focus up here the trapezoid one and at the tip we have this little yellow gas station thing that is very specific the grease pit no, none of the other molds iron works lunar works um, have this and then on the bottom we have the little red blaster bit the back of the blaster and you just have that 90 degrees and here we have the grease pit torso, and we're going to be plugging this in just like that, something like that. Then we're going to get this, and then we're going to plug it in like that. Pretty easy, right? I think I got it right. I think I need to... Yo, you guys hear my stomach right now, dude? Dude, I'm doing this thing where I'm not eating uh, dinner for two weeks, and like my stomach is just like... <laughs> Um, let me see. You know what? I'll just, uh, I'll just, uh, mount it on him and then we can clean it up and it's going to plug into, oops, sorry about that. It's going to plug into that little hole right there. And we're going to get that in there. And then once we're in there, this goes up, you can do that. And then, oh, you know what? They were angled appropriately. Beautiful. So we're done with the top. See how easy that was? It looks complicated when you just look at it, but once you start layering and start adding on the bits, nah, it's not so complicated. And on the bottom here, this was actually the very last piece because I was like, man, what am I going to do with all these like panels? And I was able to figure it out, and I was very happy about that. And um, what you got is the ironwork, or the grease pit, excuse me, the hips, and they are also on a panel. Shh, stomach. Shh. <laughs> and then we have that connected to... Uh, there is just one panel, an extraneous one that sits on the back, and so that's connected to the hinges closest to the hips. And then we have one of the leg uh, panels, and then we have another one of the leg panels. And what's going to happen is, um, yeah, so this is going to fold in like this, and this is going to fold in. That's going to be the this is going to be the front Shh, stomach, quiet. And then this bit over here is going to. Just plug into the side of the toe, and that goes up there, and we are Dunskis. Cool, huh? He looks all like crazy samurai pants or something, dude. I mean, I feel like every time I see baggy pants, I'm like samurai pants or something. But, um, dude, he's nice. He's nice. Not particularly, like, posable. He's not running the 100-yard dash or anything like that, but he's very imposing. Great as a statue. Great for social media pictures and messing around and stuff like that. But that's him. 
that's him. And you can create this using two grease bits. If you want, you can use two ironworks. It's going to look slightly different, but the majority of the function is going to be there. And so, um, yeah, if you care to try to make it, hey, I just noticed something. They are not symmetric. Shh, did you guys hear that? Dude, I'm so hungry right now. But I just noticed. Yeah, these are not symmetric. How very, very interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta investigate that a little bit more. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just gonna go home hungry right now, super starving, and I will talk to you all very soon, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.